Hello, 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 my friends. I'm coming in from this beautiful, incredibly inspiring location. And I thought that this would be the perfect time to talk to you about inspiration. What to do when you don't have any. When you're like, you're hitting a wall. You can't figure out. You're like, I know I saw that somewhere. I kind of want to do that. What do I do? So when you're setting yourself up to be doing headshots and videos and social images and you just can't quite get yourself together, what I do is what I teach my students at AuthenticSuperstar.com where I invite you to go right now. It's my free five-day online challenge is to really start setting up inspiration boards for yourself. It's a little different than what you might think. I'll tell you in a second. But first, for those of you who are new to me, I am Sharon here of FocusOnStyle.com and I help fellow savvy, talented, smart, brainiac entrepreneurs who realize that their expertise is not always enough to stand out in a very, very super crowded market. You need a little bit of zhuzh. You need your own secret sauce, your own special something to really not be a commodity in today's very crowded marketplace. This is your reality show. So let it go, right? So inspiration, what kind of inspiration do you need? Well, when you're trying to figure out what to kind of do for your backdrops, for your videos, for your headshots, your photos, the photos you set your videos up with are the first things people see, the photos you can use for book covers, the photos you can use for your speaking one sheet, the photos you can use for your website, for your memes, for the featured blog posts that you have. They're different for the ones from LinkedIn to the different Instagram or Facebook. Like you would never really put like the really fugly photo on Instagram, but you could probably put it on Facebook and let it go real too. So what do you do when you don't know like how do you pose? How do you position yourself? What do you wear? Where do you stand? Where do you sit? What, what do you do? What angle? What light? What the time of day? Is it an environmental shot? Is it an at-home shot? Is it a studio shot? You're so confused on what to do. Like simply like how do I hold my hands, right? Do I hold my hands like pretty hands like that? Do I lean them like that? What do you do for a good shot? Well, what I tell my clients, my students, is to use Pinterest as your friend. Go to Pinterest if you're not familiar with it. It's an online visual board social media kind of site and create your own account. You could keep it private so no one else knows what's in there but you. And divide it up into different kinds of boards of what you need let's say like environmental headshots or studio headshots or on-the-go videos or slice of life or whatever it is book covers um, speaking one sheet photos the main photo for your website whatever your your you need at that time then start going and looking around the internet and clipping other kinds of photos that are similar that you like now I'm not telling you to copy it I'm telling you to model it and use it as inspiration it is totally what everyone did on photo shoots for 15 years we had mood boards we'd go in and we kind of take a photo from this and a photo from that it does not have to be in what you're doing it could be it could be a photo from a fashion magazine and you're a business coach it's just the mood it's the essence it's the position of what you want as inspiration I also highly recommend that when you're doing photos you also think of its placement because is it going to be a vertical photo or is it going to be a square photo is it going to be something that's on top of a blog post and competes with other graphics and other photos of you on the post? Or is it standalone on a white page and you want it to be a little softer than it? So once you, you divide these boards up into the size of the photo you need, the shape, is it long? Do you need little wingspan on the side so you could put copy and content or do you need it really tight and really simple and then from that when you get to this point where you're totally blank and you don't know what to do you pop back to Pinterest and you could scan through it and get tons of inspiration. I mean, even if it's the cover of a magazine, I love like the covers of Harper's Bazaar and Vogue and in style for the positioning of, you know, how is that, how is the actress or the model's hands? Where are, are they cross her chest? Are they behind her? And you could then get that and do it on your own as just your jump start to learning how to do it. And it's cool, right? 
So if you want something that's really super cool, I want you to go over to AuthenticSuperstar.com. Join me in my five-day challenge, and I will see you there. I'll teach you everything you need to get going in five days, just a few minutes a day. That's like five minutes a day. And I promise you when you end, you will become an authentic superstar. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.